All right, let's talk about J.J. McCarthy, the quarterback, former quarterback of the Michigan Wolverines, now will be a quarterback of some NFL team. Uh, people are talking about him as a potential first-round pick. He's currently number uh, 10 on the consensus big board, so a lot of teams thinking maybe he'll be a you know mid-first rounder, not the top of the first round. But I wanted to make a video, you know, watch some film, get my take on how I view him. And I got to say, there's a lot of stuff to really like about McCarthy. Like something like this, it's an interesting play. So it's going to be man coverage that Purdue is in right here. You see that route right there. It's a go route on the outside. And especially with how the uh, player for Purdue, who's kind of getting up in that direction, you see how he's not fully towards the outside right now. It's kind of out of position because of the motion. So for uh, McCarthy, he notices this. Watch him take the snap, and he's going to look over and fire down the field. This is wide open. So this is part of, you know, Michigan, right? They were a really good team, and sometimes that almost hurt him in a way because, like, his whole philosophy had to be just don't make mistakes. You know, they're going to run the ball a thousand times, and, you know, that's kind of what they did, how they won a national championship. But still, when he had these opportunities, and yes, it is open— Watch this ball. He would make some really accurate throws down the field, and he could consistently do this stuff, which is one of his biggest uh, assets heading into the NFL, is that he can really, you know, make some of these great passes. Like, this play is going to be another one, where what's going to happen on it is it's going to be... So you see the player who I've highlighted. He's going to be blitzing on this one. And this is always concerning for young players, right? Picking up blitzes, how well do you do it? Especially when it's a blitz on the blind side. He's a right-handed quarterback, so blitzes towards the left can be a little tricky. And it's it's actually going to be even tougher than that because watch how McCarthy's first read is cut towards the right. Either that's his first read or he's faking, but either way, you know, he, because of looking straight towards his right, the unblocked man is getting right towards McCarthy. This is very dangerous, and quite frankly, you're almost expecting a fumble at this point. But one thing that McCarthy has, and some guys have this, some guys don't, is just a great feel for when players are around them. Peyton Manning talked about at one point that sometimes you can just tell by the sound the crowd makes if there's pressure coming. Uh, Peyton Manning was able to kind of know when pressure was coming on his blind side because of the noise the crowd would make, uh, kind of like almost like a gasp in these moments. Watch McCarthy sidestep him without really seeing him. He then makes the throw off balance and they pick up a first down. He's really good at doing this, this stuff. He really understands where players are around him, which is a huge asset. Uh, and, you know, again, he can, he can do these. Uh, he can also throw off balance in a way that a lot of other players can't. These are real positives in his game. Now, on this play, when it begins, you're going to see that there is some, you know, pressure on the edge, kind of similar to the last time. This time, he does clearly notice it, even though it's on his blind side. Again, able to realize it. This is kind of the downside with McCarthy is, well, I do think he's a good athlete and can make moves. Sometimes he tries to do a bit too much in that aspect. Watch him try to get around the edge rusher, and that does not work whatsoever. Sometimes you do have to either throw the ball away, or in this scenario, just go down, dive forward. It can actually save you like five yards, because you don't get knocked backwards. And for whatever reason, refs tend to not give you much forward progress uh, when it's a sack, as they do uh, in other situations. But also, it just helps protect you. Like, you know, again, another former Michigan quarterback, Tom Brady, was the, the king of just going down when those plays happen. Man, that's, it's something he could definitely look towards. This one's another, I think, interesting one to talk about. So it's a goal line situation. Michigan's feeling pretty good about themselves, up 13 with 30 seconds left in the half. Watch as McCarthy's going to take the snap. And once again, there is eventually going to be pressure. He didn't love his first read. He's scrambling outside. And, you know, there's a player who has contained on this play. So now McCarthy has to figure something out. But watch this move he pulls off to get around that edge rusher. Listen, when I work in the NFL... I don't know, but like the fact that he can pull this off in college at least gives you hope that he can pull off some moves like this at the NFL level. So that's cool. Here's what's less cool. Watch him off balance throw this into double coverage and got really lucky that wasn't intercepted. That was a bad decision, a bad job by McCarthy. And he is someone who he will take those types of chances. He just will. Uh, he's kind of the kind of guy where he's never seen the throw he can't make. If we fast forward to what would be the next play, so okay, got away with one, let's see what he's going to do here. You see how this play could work, could get a guy open in this zone coverage concept that Maryland is running. Watch as McCarthy takes the snap, he looks over, and right here you have a situation where it's just not open. I mean, there's a linebacker right in the way. If you're going to make this throw, you have to get it really high up, but I wouldn't advise making this throw at all. McCarthy kind of throws it right to the linebacker. I'm not sure if he just didn't see him over the offensive line or what, but that was a that was a tough play. Uh, so, you know, again, 
this will happen. He will do this. I'm not saying he does it a ton, and it didn't really hurt him in college, but I do wonder if some of these things at the NFL level could hurt him a little bit more. Like I said, not something I saw a ton of, but this is in the negatives for me. Honestly, the bigger negative is something like this. This was something I noticed, which is, so accuracy is a weird thing, right? Because people kind of just say, are you accurate or are you inaccurate? End of sentence. But that's not exactly how things always work because there's different ways you can be accurate and different ways you can be inaccurate. As I mentioned, kind of that deep ball stuff, really kind of those timing routes. He tends to be really good with timing. I haven't mentioned that yet, but like, you know, timing tends to be very good and the accuracy on a lot of those passes tends to be very good. But here's something I, I did notice when watching film. Watch how when this play begins, you see him take the snap, and he's going to throw it to a receiver who's open. Okay, cool. Third down and eight, good situation. And again, a lot of people will view this as, do you make an accurate pass or do you make an inaccurate pass? But here, it's kind of, you know, you could argue both in a way. It's an, I mean, I would say it's an inaccurate pass. It was not a perfect pass. He had a window that he was trying to hit, and he missed that target. He still gave his receiver a chance, but this is something I saw a lot of, was like slight misses. Again, you could sit here and say, hey, if you get your hands on the ball, you got to catch it. But at the same time, realistically, that's not always going to happen. If you ask your receivers to have to try and make tougher catches, they're not going to as consistently make it. And of course, at the NFL level, the windows are smaller and, you know, missing a throw by a foot can turn it from a completion to an incompletion or even an interception with how good some of these players are. But another thing I really like about McCarthy will be shown on this play. So the way it works is it's kind of set up as though it's going to be a wide receiver screen, but it's not. That player will then run a deeper route. That's the route that McCarthy wants to throw to. Okay, kind of a clever concept here. You know, when you're playing a powerhouse like Purdue, you got to break out the big guns. You got to break out the uh, trick plays. So uh, let's see what they do here. McCarthy is going to take the snap. He can kind of fakes the screen, looks over. Is that open? Well, in a sense, yes, because the defensive player has his back turned towards the quarterback. So McCarthy can kind of play off of that. But I love where he puts this ball. He doesn't just bomb it deep down the field. Watch him kind of throw towards the back shoulder and kind of throw up like that, which is further away from the defender. Because if the defender got his head turned around, it would have been more towards the left of the screen, meaning that if that's where McCarthy put the ball, it could have been in trouble. But because he put it on the other way, that's how they were able to get the completion since your receiver can play the ball because he knows when it's coming, right? So really good job there by McCarthy. He really does have a good understanding of, you know, just how to play football, essentially. Like, there's a reason he's a national champion, right? Because he didn't know how to make some of these plays. Like, it's true. You know, there are negatives here. Uh, he will take too many sacks, as I mentioned. Uh, he has the slight misses. He, I think he takes too many chances, and I think he can process things a little bit faster. But there are a lot of positives in his game as well. So I totally understand why he's getting hyped up as much as he is. And he's still just 21. So a lot of the potential fixes in his game are things that you feel pretty comfortable he could fix. You know, sometimes there's a guy where it's like, ah, he has all these issues, but also he's 25. So like, how much better is he actually going to get? Well, that's not the case with McCarthy. He, uh, You expect him to get better as he is still a young prospect, and he's still pretty good now. As a So yeah, that's what I think about all this. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.